CNSC is using simulations to provide predictive capabilities to understand the manufacturing process before they actually physically go do it. Simulations are really advantageous because you can do two main things. Um, you can focus on understanding stresses and states in the materials that you can't test for and understand. And the other thing is that you can go through a variety of different experiments virtually that you may not ever be able to do physically. So simulation enables us to do experiments in the virtual space. We can run hundreds of iterations with different process parameters in a fraction of the time that it would take to actually build hardware and test it on the factory floor. We have a variety of tools in simulation at KCNSC that we use. We have high-performance computing hardware clusters that are among the most powerful in the Midwest. We use a variety of software solutions from codes that are developed at the national labs to commercial codes, whichever is most appropriate to the problem at hand. We've got a group of about 25 engineers that support the advanced engineering simulations and analysis team. And it's a group of mostly mechanical engineers, although we do have a growing group of chemical engineers. This group came about to respond to manufacturing challenges that we were having on the floor. And what we've done in the last several years is rather than fight fires out on the production floor, is try to be proactive and engage early for design for manufacturability concerns. Simulation often has a cost impact, but oftentimes the schedule impact is even more significant. The ability to identify a root cause and quickly address a problem can be hugely beneficial to a product's development schedules. I can imagine a future where we have the ability to simulate almost everything that goes on on the production floor, and we can build hardware in the virtual space and predict manufacturing processes before we ever cut our first chips or drill our first hole.